Welcome to East Coast LQ Reviews, and today I have another whiskey for you. This is J.P. Weiser's Rye Whiskey. So this is a blended Canadian whiskey, and uh, on the bottle it says, A tradition of quality and craftsmanship since 1857. So this uh, company has been around for 160 years now. Um, you can uh, check them out at jpweisers.com. And uh, if you actually go to their uh, About Whiskey section, and then you go under uh, J.P. Wise's Rye Whiskey. Um, I'm going to read off the description really quick. It says, This full-flavored full rye whiskey offers a rich aroma with a body that is complex and perfectly balanced. An exceptional blend of oak, toasted grains, and rich toffee with a finish that is smooth and enduring. So I've, ha I've heard a, uh, a lot of good things about um, J.P. Wise's. Um, I'm going to pour some into... Uh, actually, I'm going to pour some of this... It's actually a double shot glass. Um, it's a skull head. It's pretty cool. Just gonna pour some into this and then the cup. So yeah, as you can tell, I almost finished this. So yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Um, it's kind of a golden color. Um, it's not too dark. Um, the tasting notes on the website. On the website says caramel, dried fruit, oak, toasted grains, toffee, and vanilla. And then they have a bunch of other drink recipes that you can make. Um, I've heard of Manhattan's a lot. Um, never heard of a couple of these. Um, it shows you where you can buy uh, their products. Like maybe some liquor stores there. You put in your... Uh, area code and it shows you where nearby they carry this uh, whiskey um, so yeah let me go for the smell um, you get the the vanilla off rip you can get the vanilla on the aroma uh, a little bit of oaky in the background kind of sharp kind of a sharp smell to it um, see if I smell any fruits Maybe a little bit of raisin. Um, not too much of the toffee and the caramel, but we go for the taste. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty smooth. Up front, you kind of get the um, dried fruit, the uh, the rye, um, the oak and the toasted grains and uh the vanilla kind of smooths it out with that and it kind of has like a little bit of a burning um a burning a burn taste to it up front but then the toffee and the caramel actually smooth it out and it actually gets a nice sweet flavor with the finish um so for a rating for this um the price i believe these are going to be around eight to ten bucks for a, a pint and i believe a 750 or maybe it might even be more than that, because I know a 750 will range you around uh, 18 to 20 dollars. So I'm guessing these will have to be around like 10 to 12. Um, so for my rating on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm gonna give this uh, for the price. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. It's definitely a, a decently priced uh, whiskey. Um, I'm actually starting to really like Canadian whiskeys, and uh, rides are really starting to grow on me as well. Um, if there's any other whiskeys or uh, liquors that you want to see in my channel, maybe any other, some other beers, uh, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.